Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. We are your one-stop shop for amazing and delicious keto recipes. Or at least we'd like to think so. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single episode. Now, very recently I showed you guys how to make keto breadcrumbs and keto fried chicken. You can click somewhere above here and find the video. Now, one of the dishes I made with these keto breadcrumbs, which I have not shown you guys, is keto fish cakes. Yep, I made these for my wife and ever since that day, she's been telling me, Sahil, you need to make the fish cakes on Headbangers Kitchen. So here I am today and I want to make those fish cakes for you. And I'm going to give them an Indian twist so that they have some like serious flavor. And you can use any fish you like. I'm going to just use what I have in my fridge, which is a fish called kapi, which is either a mong fish or a jew fish. I can't remember. But anyway, any nice white fish will do. And for the breadcrumbs, just watch the video. It'll be floating around here somewhere in one of those little eye buttons. And uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I can't do that. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Let's go and make those delicious keto fish cakes. So to make our fish cakes, we're going to get a pan on the stove and heat up some olive oil and a little bit of butter because butter makes everything better. Then I'm going to put in my delicious fish. Now this is two nice big fillets of a fish called kapi, but you can use any nice boneless white piece of fish. And I'm going to give these fillets a seasoning with salt and pepper while they are frying on one side. And then once they've been cooking for a few minutes, I'm going to flip them over and I'm very likely going to season the other side as well. Now, if you notice, these fillets are a little odd. One side of it is very thick and one side is very thin. So I'm just going to rotate the pan and turn the fatter side towards the heat source so that it basically cooks evenly. Now, I don't want to dry out the fish. I want it perfectly cooked. So, well, once it's done, I'm going to remove it from the pan. Now once the fish has rested, I'm going to put it in a bowl along with all the resting juices and I'm going to break up that fish with a fork. Just break it up. You want to get a nice flaky fish. You know, you want flakes, you want fish flakes. Anyway, once I've done that, it's time to add in the other ingredients. I'm adding in one of my coconut flour mug bread, which I just blitz up in the, well, blitzer a small red onion chopped up about 30 grams some fresh coriander and about two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste if you don't have ginger garlic paste you can use ginger and garlic anyway give that all a good mix give it a good mix once that's done we're going to lightly season it with some salt because don't forget you have seasoned the fish while cooking it some red chili powder some turmeric some coriander powder, some cumin powder, and then I'm gonna crack in two whole eggs. And then just beat it, just beat it, actually mix it, give it all a good mix. I'm getting bored of mixing things, so I'm gonna beat it, whip it, stir it. Once that's done, our fish mixture is ready. Now it's time to make the fish cakes, and I'm going to use a cookie cutter ring mold to basically shape them. And just put it all in there and shape your fish cake. And that's it. That's how you shape the fish cake. Now in the same pan, I'm going to heat up some olive oil, the one I fried the fish in, but I give it a little wipe down. And once that oil is nice and hot, I'm going to place in my fish cakes. You want this on a medium heat and you want to slowly cook it. Be very careful. These fish cakes are quite delicate. Anyway, place those in and let them cook. And once they've been cooking for about three to four minutes, it's time to flip them. Be careful, you don't want to break them. And well, if you do break them, you can just mix it all up and have a scrambled fish cake, which would be very, very interesting, a scrambled fish cake. Anyway, once that's done cooking for another four minutes on the other side, just remove it. And that's it, fish cake's done, easy peasy. Look at that, that looks delicious. Now I'm just going to break off a little piece. Oh yeah, that looks good. I can't wait to dig in. Anyway, fish cake's done. Time to taste. All right, folks, it's time to taste our fish cakes. Now that green chutney you saw, that was just basically for the photographs and so it looks pretty, you know. But well, I'll show you how to make a green chutney at home if you really want me to teach you. Leave me a comment below. 
If you do, I'll make it in one of the future episodes. Anyway, time to taste the fish cake. All right, this looks good. Mmm. 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 These will make a great keto snack. Yeah, this is definitely the perfect keto snack. It's it's just it's so beautiful. Like it's lovely flakes of fish and it holds well together. And it's and you know what? You don't have to do it in an Indian way like I did. You know, you could use one egg instead. You could use some mayonnaise, some mustard, some cayenne pepper, some paprika. Give it a different flavor. You could even use Italian seasoning, fresh garlic, um, maybe put parsley instead of coriander and you'll have like an Italian fish cake. It's completely up to you what you want to do. And if you don't have the coconut flour bread, you can use the almond flour bread. No problem. You can even use the peanut butter bread. In fact, I think the first time I made it when I did for Dipti, my wife, I used the peanut butter bread if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, this is just fabulous here. Yeah. So today I will tell you one thing though. I used the microwave bread as it is. I didn't uh, dehydrate it in the oven and then make the bread crumbs. I just blitzed it like soggy. But it's it's amazing. Like anyway, if you haven't learned how to make the bread crumbs, you should really go and figure it out. That chicken is also delicious. Anyway, too much jibber jabber from me. I'm gonna see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. And till then, cheers and keep cooking. Hey folks, if you still haven't found that recipe for the breadcrumbs, just click here and watch it. If not, click here and watch another video of mine. And if you like what I do, you can support me monetarily on Patreon by clicking here. If not, you know what, just subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you can pick up some Headbangers Kitchen merch, link in the video description box below. Thank you for watching.